hello everyone welcome back to tall tales custom tackles um gonna do a little video here um i finally got my triple injector in uh actually my last video a couple of days ago when i done the uh results of the giveaway uh you know i hadn't got it yet but it actually came that afternoon so it only took 83 days and we'll get we'll get more into that in a minute um let me set this over here check this plastic I went ahead and started heating up plastic. The tricky part with uh, doing three colors is going to be trying to get the colors uh, built and keeping them all. Let me make sure you can see. Yeah. Uh, keeping them built and uh, or, uh, keeping them all the same temperature. These still got to heat up more, but I want to stir it up real good. Scrape the sides and the bottom. To, uh, to make sure we get it proper cooked. Uh, I know I've talked about that in previous videos to where, you know, if you check the temperature, it might be close, but you see that milky, you got to like scrape the sides and the bottom. Um, like I say, I know I've uh, talked about that in a previous video, but anyway, cause if you heat this up to 350 without really giving it a good, uh, stirring like that you will have tacky sticky plastic um and honestly it's just not properly cooked i mean it's just it'll cause problems so you always want to try to stir it up really good and you know if you heat it up to 350 you know it, it's a it's a good chance and you got it stirred up good it's a good chance it's going to be properly cooked most of the time i'll try to run it up to about 360 or somewhere in there or heat it up two or three times at the uh at the temperature of um 350 anyway let's get into it um like i said i announced in that video you know the winner and then i said i still hadn't got it well it actually showed up that afternoon so marty it actually did mail it off like monday um monday or tuesday you no know, but he had done told me so many times that he had mailed it off for over uh because he supposedly mailed it off he told me the first time he mailed it off like february the third uh second and never would send a track and never would you know and then then a couple weeks later oh it didn't get mailed off he thought it did but uh the guys in the shop didn't mail it off any oh it's mailed off you know he told me about four or five times they mailed it off so when he told me like uh monday that he knows personally that it mailed off so i reckon he finally done it um if that's the case um he should damn sure get on them guys ass because 83 days there's no possible way it should take 83 days and they get offensive if you go on there and leave a comment you know like they try to post about their 14 to 20 something days turn around um and if you make a comment saying oh it, takes longer oh they get all offensive oh well it's, uh we don't work week uh weekends or holidays whatever blow that smoke up somebody else's ass because 83 days is ridiculous um anyway we're gonna try to build this color it's i actually made a couple when i first got it i shot two uh two different colors well both of them they're almost the damn same i'll show you real quick um I done this one first the black is too black on top i put too much in it but it's got more of a uh a orange bottom it's hard to tell you can barely see the red going down the side more because it it blends in so much with that orange i should have made the orange a lot lighter um and like i say it's tricky it's tricky with the uh trying to get all three colors the perfect this one's orange a little bit of red and then i actually done a trying to see if you can see it that's actually a uh, blue fleck top it turned out pretty good uh, when we went fishing yesterday i used uh, a few of those and um you know i did catch i did catch a decent uh, a decent bass on one of them you know didn't i mean we didn't load the boat by no means yesterday it was a uh it was definitely a rough day for fishing you know it was uh 
it, it was one of them days i tell you that it was uh it was an adventure you know um uh, like I, I said in uh that previous video you know it was gonna be me my dad and my brother and we hadn't been on a boat together and you know probably over 20 years and so it was an adventure we uh we had a good time um, my brother got two of them um which i was surprised because he used uh he used a johnson spoon with a trailer and i'm you know i was leery about that because i honestly i don't hardly ever see anybody using johnson spoons anymore and i personally hadn't used one and i bet it's been 15 years since i personally used one but anyway he he was throwing old johnson spoon and he was fishing behind me and my dad and he still ended up getting a couple of them so um that's not bad i mean anytime you can you fishing on the back of the boat and you're casting behind somebody and you still end up catching two two decent ones not big but two two decent ones and like i say it was a it was a rough day i mean the water had changed since the last time we went it had dropped probably four or five feet and they the fish just were not biting there was a lot of boats out there too uh they had a little tournament going on uh not just tournament there was a lot of locals out there but uh man it was just rough um i spoke to a couple of people out there uh there was a a couple of guys been fishing all day they had got one fish all day um another group of guys they hadn't even got a bite all damn day so we got five in the boat we missed a few um so considering the uh the uh conditions i think we done good i mean it was a it was a long rough day i mean i um caught two about the first hour out there and then we went about three or four hours between the the two i caught to begin with till we got another bite so it was just a long strip we almost left two or three times and and i'll tell you something let me check this place and i'll tell you something else in a second uh or i can tell you why i'm talking but uh anyway we got out there and end up doing a lot more riding what i in, intended on you know we uh we done way more riding than what uh than what i intended on because i put i put eight gallons in it and i already had a little bit of gas in it but i was going by my fuel gauge well little did i know my damn fuel gauge went out so all that riding we was doing you know we went that's ammonia is pretty good size lake so we went all the way on the far end to the next highway and done a lot of idling because with it dropped so much the the vegetation is so thick i didn't want to kill the batteries in my trolling motor uh by running a lot so we done a lot of just idling through and stuff but anyway get to uh the point of the story we get on the far other side uh about well i say far other side we was about two and about two two and a half miles from the boat land and it's getting late and all of a sudden i run out of gas i'm like ain't no way i ran out of gas you know i'm looking at my fuel gauge still shows you know almost a half a tank well i get back there dead i mean just hollered i said oh you've got to be kidding me you know so and got to thinking about it and like i say i said well we down we rode a lot we went back and forth a couple of times out there and and idle you know we probably put a couple hours worth of idling around you know just tearing through uh vegetation and lily pads so uh yeah needless to say we done we paddled and i trolled cutting through lily pads uh for over a mile or so and and the batteries on the troll motor started running low because of i mean hell you just you can only run so long chewing through pads but uh anyway so about we got maybe a half mile from the boat landing a group of guys just happened to come by and they towed us the rest of the way and we was glad because we it took us forever to get that far but it was an adventure i mean if it wasn't for stuff like that you wouldn't have stories to tell okay um let's show you real quick i'm gonna attempt to make it ain't gonna be just like this but something similar to this more of a, a lighter 
you know, like a, a yellowish, maybe a yellowish brown tint to the bottom. I'm going to try to do like a, a bluish green middle and a, a brown, you know, a little bit darker brown top and see how it turns out. It might look like crap, but, or it might not look right at all, but we'll see how it looks because I'm still playing with this uh, triple. And like I say, I'm going to, I'm going to modify it uh, and I'll get to that here in a few minutes. I only did uh, like one and a quarter cup of plastic. Well, almost a, it's in between one and a quarter and one and a half cup of uh, plastic. I don't want to go too thick with the, with the colors yet until I see how they're going to look. And these right here, bait plastics, it don't take much. They're real thick and concentrated, so it ain't going to take much to, to get, you know, the desired color. I might not need that much. Three drops might be too much on that blue because that blue is pretty thick. And I'm going to add just a little bit of black flake. I mean, just a little bit. These colors right here might not even do good in a, uh, you know, in a triple. I just, I want to try something something a little different you know I think I want to go thicker on the on the blue but uh anyway so I got the yeah I added a little bit too much blue that last squirt I think it'll be alright I mean, it ain't, it ain't like it's got to be perfect. Cause I done, I've done said it before. There's no failures when it comes to. Uh, I said I added too much blue. I'm gonna add a little bit more. There ain't no failures when it comes to uh, making plastic like this. Cause I mean, honestly, I'm gonna use it. That that turned out to be an ugly blue. It needs to be. A little I might add something else to it well, that just that color right there is kind of ugly but blended in over something else might do something to it. I'm gonna add a little touch of yellow all right now that 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 changed it up a little bit all right let me go back to this brown thicken it up a little more and then I'm gonna have to try to heat these back up all right, that's about what I want I'm gonna try to heat these back up to get them close to temperature that's you know sometimes it's tricky enough even when you're doing a uh, even when you're doing say a a regular you know two color laminate to keep the colors within you know four or five degrees i try to keep them within within four or five degrees honestly uh but it, it can be tricky so trying to keep these that uh trying to keep these you know within a, a five degree temperature is probably gonna be a little tricky that yellow I'm just gonna add a couple of drops of brown just to just to try that I don't want it real bright I want kind of a dull dingy yellow but I need it thicker almost kind of like a um, dirty honey mustard I'm gonna try it right there. That looks that looks fine to me. Cause when I add this uh when I add this flake to it, that'll, that'll darken it up just a little bit. That flake is just to give it a little texture because I honestly don't know how well this is gonna look when it's all said and done. Alright. See where that 
one thing. All right, see right now, the blue is about 10 degrees cooler than the, than the yellow, but then the brown one over here is a few degrees hotter. So we're gonna stick them back in there. 46 seconds. All right. And now personally, I'm not gonna do, this is something that I got just for, honestly, for personal use. Um, I'm really not gonna sell any triple color baits, you know. If I did, it might be on one of my, my auctions. I do on like the, uh, on one of them uh, Facebook groups. But um, just because it, it would be so time consuming, you wouldn't, sometimes it's hard enough to make money on certain baits anyway, but something like that, I think it would be so time consuming that uh, it probably would not be, it really wouldn't be worth it, really. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna get these out, check the temperature, see how close they are, try to work with it and shoot these. And then I'll, I'll get on this about pros and cons there's some things that i kind of like about it but at the same time there's things i do not like about it so we will definitely um you know check those out it might just be me all right let's see how close seconds the one of them is a little bit hotter but I can cool it off a little bit once I get the other two about where I want I can cool that one off a little bit by adding some heat stabilizer uh, that'll drop the temperature just a little bit without changing too much you know uh, you know it ain't really gonna affect the color or anything so let that go for a few seconds because I want them other two a little bit because this stuff I, I should have hit it with the torch because it might try to because this block is big thick and heavy so the plastic might try to cool down quick you know but we will we will see all right let's see what we got here should be close that there is close we will see how this does let me try to get you angled where you can down and see what's going on because this right here thing these things right here if you ain't never used one they're kind of a, a beast think I said what mold I was actually shooting this in uh, this is actually the uh, I call it my punch crawl uh, it's the hollow body but I have uh, I've been uh, you know I can shoot it with a full hollow body a standard hollow body or a solid body uh, right now I got it loaded as a solid body so let me let me stick these in here. So 
might shoot another run of this color, you know, before I let it cool down. Um, because I'm not going to run a bunch of different stuff because I don't want this video being an hour long. Uh, this video mainly, I mean, I'm going to show this, but this video is mainly a a review on this uh, injector that I waited so damn long for. Uh, let me top that off a second. Um, oh, I should have made that brown. I'm thinking I should have made this brown. That's that uh, brown pumpkin. Other than that, the other two colors look pretty good. I, I might have should have made that top a little uh, a little thicker. But it's fine. Whatever it comes out, I will definitely fish with it. Um, and the main reason I got this, I went ahead and just loaded this mold. It's because I got an order to do anyway. As soon as I get done with this video, I got to get on it. Um, I got an order of uh, 50 to do of these uh, for a gentleman that uh, needs some for a tournament coming up next week. Okay, let's, let's get down to it. Uh, there's a couple of things. This thing is heavy. Um, I weighed it and it was like, a little over eight pound uh which you know i ain't no wimp by no means but that's heavy um uh, you know bass tackle theirs is heavy also i think they advertise theirs being like over six pound but i'll clean this first and and then once i clean this try to get you where you can see uh anyway after i clean well you know what we'll open it on up and see what it looked like on the inside but after i clean this then i'll do the injector and i'll show you some of the things i do and don't like come on oh, are you gonna come off on that side yeah see i think that that brown should have been a lot thicker but you know that don't look too bad and you can see right there it blends in pretty decent um that color i think would have been better either with this being more brown or actually being like this color orange i think that would have uh would have looked pretty good anyway pop that on out set that to the side and this right here i'm fine with you know this is heavy but i'm i'm fine with that um you know i expect that to be heavy and i'm gonna bring you back over here i know i'm making you dizzy try to get where you can really see what's going on okay clean these up And then I'll try to get into what I don't like about it. Um, now I do like the fact of how how spaced out they are. I can use these two cups were, you know, instead of just instead of just having to use these smaller cups, I can use the bigger cups. I do like that. I like the locking, uh, you know, the locking pins on them. I do like that. You just set them to the side you know I do like that what I don't like and this right here is something that aggravates me and I'm gonna modify it you know like the bass tackle one and you push it forward you're able to get these plungers past the end so and you can see right now you know you got plastic in front and behind this uh this little seal uh little o-ring well you can't the only way to to get it to go past is to fully disassemble and take this bar off and that's a pain in the butt it would have been nice to have the rods longer to where it would come out more you know what i mean like and let me show you what i'm talking about like even my uh dual injector or a standard 
you push it forward you can clean out from behind it and clean easier you know you can get up you know in the edges and clean it it just makes it easier for cleaning but that's how they got it designed uh, and if they were worried about the extra two inches of rod making uh, extra weight they could have downsized some of this stuff um, and honestly I'm gonna take it apart and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about um, now these I'm fine with those being as heavy as they are this right here is so damn I mean there's they're honestly I know it's stout but there's no reason to be that stout um, I know it sounds it might be one of them pet peeves but I'm gonna build my own bar to go across here uh, just to make it where I'm gonna have it where I can either come at least that far and it'd be so much easier to clean you know uh, and I just cleaned it before we got started and you can already see down this try to get where you can see you can already see down this barrel or maybe you can I'm trying to get where you can yeah you can see down this barrel with all that stuff you can't get to it without taking and pulling the rod but if it was where you can get behind it you could actually spray up in there more and pull a lot of that stuff out but other than that I mean you know it's it's well built it's stout and it's not as you know I've seen a lot of people where theirs was scarred up you know it's it's not scarred up and beat up it's just that's the one thing I wish they would have made the rods longer but because I got plenty of room right here I can I can build it to where I got that much that much room and that's enough for me to, to do a little better cleaning um, not just that downsizing this bar will actually save so much weight because um, you don't need this it I can I can build one out of a quarter inch uh, piece of aluminum stock that will never bend never flex and only take up a small amount of room so um, you know that's just a little pet peeve you know little things for me um, I'm not saying if you got one you got to do that you ain't got to do nothing you can you can uh, use it just the way it come uh, me personally I'm gonna I'm gonna do that to uh, to help me you know um, put a little bit of oil in there cycle it back and forth a couple of times to because it's fairly smooth you know um, it really is it's it's fairly smooth the only thing is is that cleaning behind it um, is is you know and you got you got three injectors so therefore the you know you got to put a little more pressure like maybe we didn't uh, flash this because you you have to put a little more pressure uh, but anyway that that's the main thing the only other thing I'll, I'll say this and I thought about it also is like this one that's just so thick and big I know you don't want them to move but they could have easily made this not near as thick and could have had it where you know it's more notched out right here kind of like how you see bass tackle because that there is a lot of weight um i doubt i'll change this i mean i thought about i really did i thought about ordering uh some some uh stock to to cut out and build a new one but honestly i probably ain't gonna mess with that but i'm definitely gonna do this later on um all right that's enough of rambling let me uh take these out and see if these look worth anything. They they might look like crap. Um, we will see. Regardless, I will fish them. Oh wow! I I'm actually impressed. You know, originally I said I might should have made that brown darker, but um, I like it. I got. And you got a little, I got a little bleed over on the green, but I'm fine with that. 
Let me take the other one out. I got a little bit of bleed over on the green, but like I said, I'm I am I am perfectly fine with that. Those uh those look pretty good to me. Uh let's see if I can show you. See like right here I got a little bit of bleed over. But I mean nothing in nature is perfect, so that brown. Yeah, that that actually looks really really cool to me. Try to get where I can show you all sides. Like that brown right there. I mean it probably could have been a little more thicker, but I think it's I think it looks fine. I mean I say the the triple just gives more options. This one I believe would have would have in my opinion I would have liked to have seen I might do it later on you know is to do that uh top instead of a brown maybe put a little bit of uh like a either a deeper red or a, a orange color and see what happens but uh i'm satisfied with how those look yeah you can really see that 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 blue really showed up in the claws it really showed up in the claws i don't think it's i mean it ain't exactly like the picture which I wouldn't expect it to be exactly like the picture. Let me set that there. But I mean, you got you got the blue in the claws. The bottom, you know, towards the legs is more of a yellowish green, and then the top was a brown. Which, looking at the picture, I could have went with more of an orangish brown and been closer. But all in all, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, I mean, hell, I'll fish them. I'll fish the, uh, I'll fish the crap out of them, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, look, here's the sprue. You can see that blue going down it. Blue going down. I mean, you got, you can see you got a little bit of bleed over right there. That, that's going to be the tricky part is getting those, uh, getting those colors to, uh, you know, be the same, be the same temp. So, um, yeah, all in all, I'm satisfied with it. Like, like I said, there's only a couple of pet peeves I've got on, uh, or I'm not really pet peeves, but a couple little things I want to change just because, just because I guess I'm, I'm stubborn that way. I, I want to change that bar. Um, for one, it's, it'll lighten up a, a pretty good bit and it'll allow it to go down more. I want it to be able to go down a little more so I can clean around that around that o-ring um you know i mean like earlier i i guess i could have waited earlier i had only used it twice i ran two runs i ran one run with that black top one run with that uh blue fleck top and that injector just had so much plastic gunk behind that o-ring and you know down the tube and you fully have to disassemble it take take it all the way apart and clean it real good with like a uh well clean it real good with one of these that you can get this in walmart or any store that has a baby department you know for cleaning bottles and stuff so clean it real good other than that i mean i'm i'm actually satisfied with it uh i really do wish i would have bought a bass tackle one just because i would have probably got it two months ago and i wouldn't have to modify anything i know for a fact that there you know it goes down enough where you can clean behind the plungers i know that uh but all in all i am i am satisfied with it uh you know was it worth the the extra weight and saving about 80 dollars no uh not necessarily i mean you know if you're not worried about time and you want to save 80 dollars sure that's a i mean it it seems to perform just fine but if you're wanting to get one and uh you know have it perform a little better or not necessarily a little better but be able to be more user friendly as far as cleaning this stuff i would definitely say go with the bass tackle um but anyway um all in all i'm satisfied with the product uh with their customer service 
with the company quality injectors and more um i know people don't like putting uh, companies on blast like that and i'm not putting them on blast i'm just educating you on be ready to wait longer than what they tell people um because they are full of crap with their 14 days um their 14 to 20 day thing you will not get a tracking number don't matter how many times you ask because i've asked for a tracking number uh probably at least 15 or more times and never got a tracking number um so you know it, it it was just one of them things that showed up you know what i mean it showed up and i'm like okay well oh wow i wasn't expecting that so anyway um thank you for watching hopefully this video didn't didn't bore you uh hopefully it answered any questions you might have had uh you know on the triple injector um i know i had a few other people request you know i had somebody request uh, uh some more videos on like the epic pud i i do plan on making a video on that i had somebody uh wanting to see um i gotta go back and look at the comments i can't remember i get so many comments but I think somebody wanted to see a certain color made in a certain bait. Um, anyway, I, I'll try to get to it, you know, eventually. Um, I do try to answer and make as many requests, you know, try to answer the requests that I get as far as what they want to see. Now, I will have another video coming up in a few days. I got uh, I got a couple of molds that, that should be here. One of them... I know tracking gets uh shipping is slow uh but i got the seven inch ringworm you know it's just like my four and a half but it's a seven inch version um it's supposed to be here this coming up week and the uh the jointed jerk bait you know i got the five and a quarter inch but i ordered the i think it's a three and a half or a three and three quarter uh smaller version uh, i ordered it um personally i'm actually I'm actually going to use that three and a half. It's either a three and a half or three and three quarter. I'm actually going to use it more of a like a chatterbait trailer or something like that, because that little joint and the chatterbait, you know, it's got a lot of swing, and I think it would be real good for that, you know. Um, so I'm going to use it for that more. But uh, anyway, when they come in, I'll I'll do a uh, I'll do a little video on those, and you know. I, I might try to knock out a couple birds with one stone, you know, show both of those molds and maybe try to show one of the colors that was requested. But anyway, uh, enough of running my mouth. Uh, I appreciate everybody that is watching, everybody that subscribed. Uh, we are building up fast. We're, uh, I checked it this morning, we're on 561. So um, we're moving up pretty, pretty quick, you know. Um, share it, you know, share it with your friends, share it with... Uh, you know on your social media you can always check me out on instagram um tall tales custom tackles you can check my facebook page tall tales custom tackles um and hell if you just want to message me you can message me and ask me questions on my personal page uh eric gilly on facebook you know i'm i try to i get messages every day honestly uh i was actually surprised how many personal messages i get um people asking and i don't know everything but somebody might be asking for advice asking you know just in general you know talking about bait making stuff so um anyway thank you for watching we will catch you next time